I was always interested in sport. It was just finding the right one for me to do. So I first competed for Great Britain in wheelchair racing in 87, won my first London Marathon in 1992, but competed for GB for 20 years. If I'd had access to today's technology, what it would have meant was that I would have trained smart in every single training session and made less mistakes along the way. Technology has changed so much in my career. My first heart rate monitor mostly measured my heart rate, but not always terribly accurately. And then you had so many different devices. Now it can all be in one place. Real-time data is so important for athletes because it means you get the very best out of that training session. You don't have to wait until two hours later to download it, to analyze it. It means that you always train in at a really sensible level. The advances in technology means that you get that expert input into what you're doing. And I think it's amazing that, you know, 80% of people use some kind of technology. You know, that a third are using a fitness tracker and one in five are using a smartwatch. That is just really exciting for, you know, the health and fitness of our nation. In the next 10 or 20 years, the technology is going to develop even more rapidly than it already has. And being able to compare you against somebody who's training 3,000 miles away, being able to just not just measure what you do in a training session, but measure everything you do in, in your daily life will be really exciting because people do need to be fitter and healthier. This is not just about training, it's about your daily life. You don't necessarily need a coach or, or somebody standing next to you telling you what to do. 90% of people are saying that they've changed their behavior, that they're either walking to work, they might be joining a club, but they're doing things very differently. 10% of people put their trackers on their dogs and on their children, but also before they go to bed at night, they run around their bedrooms to make sure that they get the right amount of steps in. And actually, if that's the thing that encourages people to be fitter and healthier, you know, actually, well done. That, that's something that should be applauded. As a nation, we all need to think a little bit more about our health and fitness. And the technology that is now available means that that is open to absolutely everybody. And I think if people use technology, they will benefit greatly. For over 35 years, the London Marathon has helped Britain become healthier, and fitness technology has had a massive impact on the training and preparation of this year's participants. 